Hey guys, it's been quite a while since I uploaded my Fachel experiment video and some of you were wondering if and when I give you an update on that. And well, I'm here today to do just that. I uploaded the Fachel video quite a while ago and if you want to watch it, I'm going to link it down below. Otherwise, I'm just going to give you a long story short situation. Um, the Fachel is a franchise company that I believe exists in Germany, France and Austria, but I'm pretty sure that there are similar concepts all over the globe. In this case, in, in the case of the Fachel, which means little box, in, I think, potentially an Austrian accent, I'm not sure, but it makes, means box, um, you can go to like the location that you picked for example Frankfurt or Hamburg or wherever they are and rent a box where you can display your artwork or your product and they sell it for you for a little fee. So you pay rent on the box and you pay I think it is a 10% sales fee on top if they sell something for you. I decided to go for two boxes basically for two locations you can have more than one box per location but um, well, I didn't want to spend so much money, so I decided on two different locations, both in the south of Germany. One was in Frankfurt and one was in Karlsruhe. I think I'm going to talk about my experience in Karlsruhe first and then continue with Frankfurt. My experience in Karlsruhe was really, really good. I went there, I checked out the store and I found it really pretty there. And there were a lot of artists displaying all their artwork and their products and so on. and I talked to the staff there, they were so friendly, they gave me all the information I needed, they gave me a leaflet with the prices and everything and I got an email address so that I could contact the Fachelmaster with like the contract and everything. So I went home, I thought about it, decided to go for it, I contacted them by email and said hey I would like to start on that and that date, I think it was like the first of 2nd of February or something, early February, that I wanted to start. Sent that email to the Fachelmaster and then I waited. I waited maybe a few days and I didn't hear back and I was a bit concerned. So I sent them, I called in. I didn't send another email, I called in and was like, hey, I sent you an email about this and I haven't heard back from you. Um, but the date is coming up and I wanted to start in a couple days, so how is it going? And uh, they said, oh, we're so sorry. Uh, we got so many emails, we got swamped and I'm gonna have a look immediately to see if I find your email. And I found it and within, I'd say 24 hours, the whole thing was set up. They sent me the contract, I, I filled it out, I signed it, I sent it back to them. They signed it, sent me a copy and activated me, like set up a profile for me in the system. So all I had to do was take my stuff and go there on the day that I wanted to start which I did. I well, That's part of the video that I uploaded last time, so if you're interested, it's down there. And uh, yeah, I packed my stuff, I went there again. They were so super friendly. They took their time to explain everything again to me. They let me pick my box, so I picked the box that was available and explained everything with the barcodes and with how it works with um, the back end and what I have to do on my end if I want to send stuff to them so that they can put it in the box and it was just a brilliant experience and I was set up in no time and um, paid the bill in cash, got my receipt and then I was out of there and they took care of everything else. Fast forward, I booked it for five weeks initially. Fast forward five weeks, I hadn't made back the entire money so I didn't break even but it was a really really close call. I decided well my experience was so good I'm gonna stay there I'm gonna extend so that is what I did I extended. It went well for a couple more weeks and uh, in the past few weeks the sales kind of dropped which I found a bit sad. I was wondering why that was so I went there again today and we discussed it a bit and he offered me to try a different box. So that's what I did. I took my stuff and I moved it to a different box, which was on the other wall, which maybe helps or maybe doesn't help, but I really appreciate that he took the time and supported me with that. 
So all in all, my experience there is really, really good. People are always super nice when you pop in during the week or whatever and you just want to have a look around or you want to refill your box or you want to just chat with them or just have a look that everything is still displayed as you want it. They're always so friendly and so helpful. It's just absolutely amazing. I love it there. I don't think I'm going to leave there anytime soon because it's just such a, a, a brilliant experience that even if my sales are not super high all the time. Right now, I'm okay with that. Frankfurt, on the other hand side, was a whole different story. And um, yeah, where should I start? I went there in person once when I was in Frankfurt and checked around the store. The store was quite nice as well. It's a two-story floor, uh, stu it's a two-story shop. The downstairs was quite nice, the upstairs was a bit empty but I wanted to be on, on the ground floor basically. The staff member that was there was quite nice but she didn't know anything about how it worked and just referred me to the Fachelmasters. She gave me an email address and she gave me the, the contract to fill out already. So I took that home with me and filled out the form because I wanted to be there as well and to start at the same time as I was planning on starting and selling in Karlsruhe. So I filled everything out and I sent an email explaining that. I attached the contract, I sent it off and heard nothing. I was like, okay, well, maybe they didn't see it. I'm just gonna call again and see if maybe they found it. Maybe, you know, they, it, it will get, it will be similar to my Karlsruhe experience. Um, so I called in and they didn't even know where, who I was. This was a bit of a like bad start, but I thought, okay, it's gonna get better. Spoiler alert, it didn't get better. They said to me on the phone, okay, well, we don't know who you are, but just come in on that day and we'll see what we can do. I was just thinking, I live over a hundred kilometers away from that place. It's a bit risky, but I'm just gonna do it anyway because I want this experience. I want uh, this experiment to happen and I want to see how far I can get with selling in Frankfurt. So again, I packed up all my stuff. I went there on the day that I wanted to start, walked in, said, hey, my name is so-and-so. Um, I sent an email and we talked on the phone. I want to start renting my box today. And they didn't know who I was again. But they were like, okay, yeah, sure. We have uh, some boxes available. What is your name again? I'm gonna look if I can find you in the system. And they looked around and they must have found me at some point because they were like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll remember. Okay, cool. So I filled up my box. I went back and asked for my contract because I had never received a signed contract from them in return. Yeah, I had to ask several times to get that copy of the contract. I also paid in cash, which will be important again at a later time. I paid in cash, got my receipt and yeah, I was on my way again. And for days, nothing happened whatsoever. So I was a bit confused because I was like, well, Karlsruhe sold stuff really quickly. And um, Frankfurt is such a big city and it's really central, that store. It's a bit weird that there's no say, but okay. I'm just gonna have a look that everything is set up correctly in the back end. And I checked and it wasn't. So there was, not a single product listed for my shop or my box in that location. So they did not activate it. I called in and I was like, hey, I set up my box a few days prior. I can't find my products in the system. What's up with that? And they didn't know who I was. Again, the third time in a row. They were like, well, I don't know who you are right now. I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna give you a call back. Later when I'm in the store, I'm not, at, uh, I'm not there right now. I was like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I did get the call back and they were like, oh yeah, we found you. And yeah, we haven't, any, uh, haven't activated anything yet. We're gonna do that now. I was like, okay, well, but if someone wanted to buy something, they couldn't have because it wasn't activated. Ah, uh, we would have noticed eventually. Great, fast forward about four weeks and I had made one maybe two sales in Frankfurt, compared to all the other sales I had made in Karlsruhe. So when I was in Frankfurt for another appointment, I popped into the store, I looked at everything again, 
and decided on the spot, well, I'm here right now, it's over 100 kilometers from where I live to this place. I don't want to do the same tour again in just a couple days to pick up my stuff. So I'm just gonna see with the members of staff or with the Fachel master that was there, if I could just take my stuff now and kind of end the contract early. So I talked to them and was like, hey, so-and-so uh, had that and that experience. And I don't really want to come back again in a couple of days because it's a really long drive for me. And I've ha I haven't had any sales or one or two sales in the past several weeks. So is it okay for you if I take my stuff and leave early? They were like, oh, well, yeah, you can just take your stuff, it's fine. I was like, okay, mm, okay. <laughs> so I took two bags, I put everything in, I went back to the uh, Fachelmaster and I told her, well, I'm going to be on my way now, but uh, long shot, but quick question, uh, since I'm emptying the box early, about like f f five days a week, something like that, um, early, would it be possible, long shot, but would it be possible to get a refund or a partial refund on the remaining few days that I had on my contract? And she was like, well, uh, it's Saturday today. I don't really want to think about that today. I don't want to really want to work on that today. I'm going to contact you again next week about that. And I was like, mm, okay. So I took all my stuff and I left. And I don't know, I kind of feel, since they never knew who I was, uh, even on that day, they didn't know who I was. Anyone could have walked in and could have emptied the box and could have left. Luckily that didn't happen, but I feel that could have happened, but oh wait, I don't know. Fast forward, I don't know, maybe five to six days and I hadn't heard from them. So I sent them another email and said, hey, you wanted to reach out to me because I picked up my stuff, yada, 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 explain, explain. Uh, sent that off and waited for a response. At some point I got a response back, which was kind of not really nice. Um, they were basically just telling me, yeah, they didn't know why I had dropped by and picked up my stuff and left and I should read my contract. That was it. They were done with it. I mean, okay, if, if you don't want to give a refund or partial refund, I understand because there is a contract, but you can say that in a different way and you, could, you can say that right when someone asks you about that. You don't have to wait and see if the other person forgets about it and then get all snappy about it. There are two more points that I was quite peeved about. One point was that um, in the system, after like about, I don't know, I wanna say six weeks, my products, uh, my, my rent was still set to not paid, although I had paid on the day and I had a receipt. And another thing was that for like a week or a week and a half, two weeks, I'm not sure, but for quite some time, the products that I had pulled from the store were still in the system. So they didn't care about that either. I sent them an email and I asked them about the rent that I had paid. I told them I have a receipt. If you want to see it, I paid it in cash. They never responded to me. They at some point set it to pay. They never told me about that. I found out because I logged back on and checked, but there was not a single word from them about that. Another thing was that I did make a few euros there. I wanted to have that money. I requested that they pay out that money. I had a feeling that because I had so much trouble with Frankfurt in the past that I would have issues with receiving my money. So after a few days of not receiving it, I sent an email to headquarters, explained the situation, told them that I was worried that I would either have to wait really long to get my money or that I wouldn't get my money at all based on my experience with the location in Frankfurt. A couple days later, I got a call from the Fachelmaster at first being super friendly and I was like, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm working. I can't really talk right now. Is it super important or can we do it later? And then she got really snippy about, snippy, snappy about, um, yeah, of course you get your money and I don't know why, you, why you're acting like that and so on. And uh, she said they would pay it out on the day or the next day. So just for your information, the Fachel says you should get your money within five work days, five working days. I waited, I think, 
10 to 12 days, working days, until I got my money, roughly. So I did wait several days after they had said they would pay it out to me that day or the next day. It didn't happen, it happened several days later. That being said, this is all just my personal experience. You might have a totally different experience. In fact, you might have the perfect experience if you go and sell at the Fachel Frankfurt. For me personally, it was just not it. I was unhappy there and I'm glad it's over. I don't plan on buying or selling anything there anymore. I would be interested to know if you guys have a Fachel store system in your country or if you're from uh, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, I would like to know if you know of the Fachel, if you've tried it and what you think of it. That being said, I see you next time. Bye!